The Report of Foreign Bank Accounts, also known as the FBAR, was a tool invented by Congress in 1970 to make it difficult for criminal masterminds around the world to use the international banking system to facilitate their criminal mastermind plans. Because of that, any U.S. person, regardless of age or mental abilities, must file an FBAR should their foreign bank accounts exceed $10,000 in the aggregate. Again, believe it or not, this requirement extends to someone who is disabled or is a child, even a baby. Hi, this is Anthony Parent of IRS Medic, and in this video, I'll be talking about FBAR reporting obligations for dependents and what happens when a mistake is made. The FBAR is a form every U.S. person is required to file or could face horrific penalties, starting at $10,000 and going up to 50% of account value. The reason why the penalties are so horrific is the law was designed to dismantle the most violent, thuggish criminal syndicates. Now, as it turns out, FBAR penalties haven't been assessed so much against terrorists and drug traffickers, but rather everyday people who didn't know they had to report, say, a foreign pension on FBAR form. Further, the law states a child is responsible for filing his or her own FBAR report. If a child can't file her own FBAR for any reason, such as age, the child's parent, guardian, or other legally responsible person must file it for the child. If the child cannot sign his or her own FBAR, a parent or guardian must electronically sign the child's FBAR. So the question is, would the IRS penalize a child for not filing an FBAR? Absolutely. There exists a myth that because IRS employees are human, they will act humanely. Now, no doubt, many of them are conflicted about their job, but the fact is, the humanity has largely been stripped out of them because a job requires it. We have seen IRS employees attempt to assess FBAR penalties in woefully inappropriate settings again and again. Now, what if you made a mistake? FBAR mistakes are incredibly common, and consider this, we have IRS employees as clients. They messed up their FBARs. If you made a mistake, there are often cost-effective ways to deal with it, but you need to be careful. Trying to figure this out on your own could really lead to a bad result. We've seen people make bigger messes trying to straighten things out on their own or by getting bad advice. Follow the link to IRS Medic for expert help with you or your child's FBAR. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to stay on top of international tax topics you probably wish you didn't need to. This is Anthony Parents of IRS Medic, and I thank you for watching.